Hey everybody, Michael Snyder, California Weather Watch. Today's December 30th, and right now we're looking at the Doppler radar just off of San Diego, California. There's some pretty heavy rainfall moving through the area early this morning and on through the current period here. And we did have some urban and small stream advisory flooding going on here across some of the Los Angeles metro. The worst of that should be wrapping up as we speak right now. So just the water running off from that will be the main concern. And you can see we've got a couple winter weather advisories, mainly some snowfall for the higher terrain there across northern california and let's just go ahead and jump into the infrared satellite imagery you can see that frontal system that came across the area as we went through the day yesterday brought some uh, heavy rainfall across a lot of the state pretty potent frontal system there and again dropping some nice rainfall all the way down through southern california this type of system with that southerly flow does not tend to really give the best precipitation amounts to the sierra nevada but we've got more storms coming here. This storm off here is actually going to dive down to the south here. And it's not going to have much of an impact on the state of California. Maybe some light precipitation across central and southern California. And then mainly kind of hitting Baja. But the next storm system out across the Pacific Ocean here. It's got some nice cold air aloft. And it's going to be enhanced with the subtropical jet stream. And it's going to bring another pretty dynamic storm into the state of California. So we'll dive into those details here as we go through the video today. This is looking at the European as of last night versus yesterday afternoon. So on the left here, we're looking at the winds at uh, 39,000 feet. And on the right here, we're looking at basically the temperatures at 18,000 feet. So it can give you a nice visual diagram of what's going on in the upper levels of the atmosphere. This is the storm system that went through yesterday and this morning here, as you can see. I scroll that ahead here. Now we're going about 10 a.m. on the day today. Now we're going to scroll ahead a little further. And you see that next storm system I mentioned sliding to the southwest? That's it right there. That one's not going to have much of an impact on the state. But you can see the better batch of cold air back here and uh, kind of swinging down towards the state of California and this is going to be coming in probably Tuesday night or Tuesday afternoon Tuesday night and you can see it swinging down probably bringing some heavy rain across the state of California as we go on through Tuesday night into Wednesday morning and you can see the strong subtropical jet stream associated with this storm here kind of a, an El Nino signature there if you will and then you can see that storm swinging down bringing precipitation all the way across Southern California as well and then there's probably another storm on the heels of that coming for the next weekend too, which we'll dive into as we get a little bit closer. We'll probably start to take a better look at that tomorrow, but we will take a look, I believe, here on it at the GFS starting now as well. So this is the GFS, the 12Z versus the 060. And again, I'm showing you the winds on the right here at about 20, uh, 39,000 feet versus the upper air here at 18,000 feet on the left. So there goes our storm system that went through yesterday and this morning again. Same maps we were looking at in the European just a second ago and you can see that subtropical jet stream down here there's that next storm we saw on the satellite imagery off the coastline there and again that one slides down to the southwest not much of an impact on the state of california but you can see pretty good model agreement on the next storm system arriving there and that one's probably going to bring another dynamic storm system into the state of california as you can clearly see the subtropical jet no doubt being enhanced by el nino and we're pretty darn warm with the water right off the coastline here as well so that's going to enhance these storms when they do come in help them be a little bit more convective a little bit heavier rainfall with them also and you can see that here in a slide coming up but i just wanted to point out that we're still dealing with some enhanced wave activity along the coastline and this goes on through today at least for the national weather service los angeles this was put out yesterday afternoon but they do mention it goes all the way on in through saturday so watch out for that do not turn your back on the ocean unless you've been living under a rock you guys have probably been seeing the huge waves across much of the coastline there is pier damage coastal erosion people getting injured by getting caught up in the surf so yeah don't turn your back on the ocean and this is just to show you there was that flood advisory advisory for the Los Angeles Metro is supposed to be going through 11 30 a.m. this morning it may have been ended that heavy rain has now moved out of the Los Angeles Metro there still could be some high water running around out there but yeah pretty potent storm rolling across the area this is Sacramento this there could be still an isolated thunderstorm out there as we go through the day today just wanted to point that out as well and here's that rainfall forecast for today you can see the snow levels not too bad here but we're not talking about huge precipitation amounts and this was updated for today and you could get some of the ponding on the roadways out there just some minor impacts this is for San Diego and they do mention that this goes all the way through 2 a.m on Monday so heads up for that increased wave action out there 
And if you guys have been thinking it's warmer than normal, you are not dreaming because you can see basically the entire West and the entire state of California has been above average. Some places even six degrees plus here across Nevada, portions of California and wide swath of California, three to six degrees above average. And you can see this goes from December 1st through December 29th for definitely a very warm December here across the West Coast. Now here's looking at the significant wave height so let's put this into motion and you can see we do get a little bit of the relaxation and some of the wave heights here as we go through this weekend on into early next week that storm system slides to the south not very strong but then we pick up that wave action again here as again as we go through what tuesday night probably into the day wednesday eventually making its way down towards southern california as we go on into wednesday night and thursday morning here so we're gonna have another round of some wave action and then potentially the next system as you can see on in through the following weekend as well so yeah we still have some storms to go here folks interesting weather is incoming take a look at the european i believe on the left yes and the gfs on the right these are last night's run there's that frontal system here so this is a six hour precipitation type and there's the system moving through this would be about current as i'm speaking right now again good model agreement of course in the short term put that into motion you can see that storm system move to the south and then you can see the next one the more dynamic storm here could be bringing some heavy rain across the area it looks like it might be targeting some of the bay area pretty specifically there also and it could be bringing some nice rainfall amounts thunderstorm potential here and again uh but somewhat similar to the last frontal system we had, but it could even end up being a little bit more dynamic here. We'll see how this trends and we'll take a closer look at this tomorrow. But like I mentioned, that water is pretty warm off the coastline. A lot of cold air aloft. There's going to be some convective available potential energy with this uh, next storm system here as we go on in through the midweek period. Now, this is looking at 24 hour running total on the European. So there goes that system to the south, no impact. And the next storm rolls in. And this right here is about Tuesday night scrolling back and forth there's tuesday afternoon tuesday night northern california impact start as we go from very early morning on wednesday it starts to impact the bay area starts to swing down the coastline towards point conception eventually southern california and you can see there's going to be some locally higher amounts with the storm system as it moves down the coastline and i would not be surprised if this uptrended a bit in the models as well or even uptrended at the last minute as uh, some of these storms tend to do and this is looking at that above average sea surface temperature off of the coast of California. Some areas exceptionally above average here, as you can see. Now, taking a look, I want to show you at 10,000 feet as well. So there goes our storm system currently here. I like to show the upper levels of the atmosphere. Helps to give you guys a nice visual diagram. Next storm system slides to the south again. Then you can see this batch of cold air. I mean, it's going to be packing a punch here as it dives into the coastline of California here. And it's going to be enhanced by that subtropical jet. Ice warm waters off the coastline there. So yeah, I expect good things from that storm there also. And then the next storm system. Look at that cold air associated with it. So another dynamic storm as we go through next weekend potentially as well. And again, we'll try to break that down a little bit as we get closer to it. You know, we'll do this day by day. That's what we do here, right? Now, taking a look at the European, this is yesterday afternoon's 24 hour running snowfall total here. So, this is that next week's system I'm concentrating on here, but that could bring some snowfall even down towards Southern California. Hopefully, we can get a nice round across some of the Sierra Nevada out of this. I mean, it's not a huge snowmaker here, but it, it's something, and we're kind of playing catch up. So, we got to take whatever we can get. This is Los Angeles. This would be the current storm that came through this morning. But this is the next one. And you can see there's pretty good model disagreement. Some of these ensembles have over an inch in a 24-hour period. And a couple of them even have zero. So, you know, that's pretty typical with these types of storms that move down the coastline here. And this will come into better agreement here over the next couple of days. San Francisco, similar thing here. You can see the mean is pretty nice, up over a half an inch. The control run about 75 hundredths of an inch. And some of these ensembles up over an inch in a 24-hour period. So the next storm system could be quite robust. Here's the 6 to 10 day. Again, much of the west above average, including a lot of the southwest. High, you know, strong signal for above average precipitation. 8 to 14 day, not much has changed. And you can see the 8 to 14 day temperature. Check this out. Much of the west below average here. We've got some interesting cold air trying to make its way down here. And you saw that in the next weekend system here. But we'll look at that in a little bit more detail here in the next day. And we'll keep breaking it down day by day. But anyway, yeah, I hope you guys are liking these videos. Um, feeling a little bit better today, kind of sweating a bit here. I think the fever is starting to break here. I was running 102 yesterday. Um, yeah, kind of 
came back a little bit there. But anyway, I, I think I'm starting to be on the upswing here and hopefully so. I still have a few more days out here, so hopefully I can enjoy those. But anyway, hope you guys are liking these videos. We'll do this again tomorrow. I'll talk to you then and I'll see you guys later.